long time since you've had a chance to play at home, man. Yeah, man, it's been like, what, five, six years since I've been back here, man? I'm excited, man. That was part of the reason why I came over to PMA. He was like, yo, we're going to be flying all over the place. We're going to go to Washington, D.C. We're going to go over here. And then they said Chicago, and I was like, all right, I might have to sit on this real quick. And they had that whole million dollar ter like format, you know? So it was like, okay, that, that's nice too, you know? Not that you were making demands uh, to, to come here in contract negotiations, but if they would have said, hey, we're gonna we're gonna have you fight in DC or New York, would you be like, no, 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 Chicago? Nah, man, yeah, I would have had to fight it. I would have had to if, if the, if I knew that they were coming to Chicago, I would have had to fight it, man. I would have had to, like, there's no way. If they would have been like, oh, yeah, we're going to go to watch D.C., New York, and they didn't mention Chicago, I'd be like, all right, cool. But if they mentioned Chicago, I'm like, yo, look, man, like, we got to make some moves here, you know? So, yeah. So let's get the, the bad stuff out of the way. You're coming off three losses, and I know yeah. that's tough. But do you look at this as a fresh start? This is a new beginning, and, and, and so it's going to be a little bit easier for you to rebound from something like that? Yeah, definitely, man. I rebound from things, man. I've been competing my whole life, you know, and either on an individual level or on a team sports level. And you win and lose throughout. Being a competitor, it is what it is. If you don't know how to bounce back, then you might be in the wrong area of work, you know? So it, the idea of losing three fights doesn't stay with me. I, I recognize it and I analyze it and I make the adjustments that I need to make. So moving to a new promotion doesn't change my mindset. All it does, it gets me gassed up, especially with where they're trying to go right now in regards to rebranding and rebuilding their, their, their uh, promotion and their organization. It just gives me that extra boost to be like, all right, well, we're kind of in the same space right now where I'm trying to get back to something that I'm looking for. And, and, and then and we just blend together. So I am feel rejuvenated. I feel brand new. So it just the energy blends together, you know? Has that been a big motivator in this camp, knowing that you do get this fresh start and you get to, to, to kind of show the Will Brooks that was out there just a couple years ago? Yeah, I think so, because I think we, when as competitors, we want to win. Like, that's what we want. Like. But we could get so caught up in trying to like hunt it down and seek it out and we start to miss it because we're working so hard to get it. So sometimes you need a little break from everything. You need a little bit of time off. And sometimes that requires you to be dropped from one promotion to be picked up from another one or have that space in between where you have to sit around and wait. So it gives you a lot of time to be like, have to analyze yourself and read yourself and look into the things that you may have done that caused you to lose some fights, you know, it put you in the space where you have to reinvent yourself. So it's a really, really beneficial thing to be here and really kind of have this rejuvenated feeling and new promotion, new format, you know, so. Talk to us about Camino and kind of what he brings to the table. We know he's good on the ground, obviously, yeah. but what else do you have to watch Yeah, he's, he's a very tough guy, man. I, I went back and watched a lot of his fights and throughout all of his fights, it's been the same thing. He's a very tough guy. He's going to move forward. Very old school type of fighter. Doesn't have a bunch of flashy, flashy technique, but he's very, very solid in his basic things, and you have to be very conscious of all this. It kind of reminds me of like my pro my last fight with Nick Lynch, even though I lost that fight, but he was the same same type of guy. Moved forward with a lot of pressure. Doesn't do a lot of flashy things, but he'll he'll he can log you down, make you feel too confident, and you get a little arrogant, make a mistake, and you know like my last fight I made one mistake and went against my game plan. So that's the same thing with Luis Firmino. Like, he pushes you to that place where you have to be aware of what you're doing at all times. Talk to us a little bit about the format of how this whole thing works. You get a couple regular season fights, yeah. building points to, to try and get into the playoffs. Right. Uh, but what do you think of the format and, and how this works? I think it's a great format, man. I think it gives the fighters a lot of control over what, what's going to happen in their, in their, in their future in, in regards to the process, you know? so. I think it's exciting to be able to get everything done and then you know you have an off season pretty much. I think fighters tend to start to wear themselves out and now you have injuries, now you have hard weight cuts because we're having to cut weight and then all of a sudden you're waiting around for the next fight or the next fight or the next fight. And now financially you didn't do the right things because you're not sure when you're going to fight next. But with this, you know when you're going to fight and you can control all of it. And the whole format is set up to where you know you have more time to be at home to heal up and be with your family. And it's all on you, you know, you can't duck and dodge anybody. It's, you show up, you win your fights, you get your points, you score your points, you move on. And even into the turn, into the, the bracket style format, once we get into the playoffs, if you lose, you still have opportunity to take money home. That's one thing that guys don't typically get a chance to do, you know. And, it just, and that brings another aspect because now it's like, how do you change your mindset? Are you go be like, oh, well, if I lose this, whatever, I still make some money, right? So now you have to, you have a lot of different things playing in, 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 in playing around around you, you know? With, with how the point system works, 
three points is crucial, obviously you gotta get a win. Yeah. But six points, the difference between the six and the three couldn't make the difference for some guys getting into the playoffs and yeah. Not. yeah. Does that change your your kind of your your mindset as you go into the fight? Does it force you to look for a finish? Nah, it doesn't it doesn't move me. I, I come from a camp and I come from a, a, a group of coaches that will constantly have the same mindset. We go out there to win by any means necessary. Point systems, titles on the line, it does not matter. We put together our game plan and we just win. That's part of, that's bottom line it. That's where my mindset is right now. You know, I respect the fact that I'm on a three fight losing streak. So my mindset is, hey, let's get back to winning. The point system and everything else will work out. You know, of course, you go out there and you look for the finishes, you look for the good opportunities to win the fight in a short amount of time. But I let everything play out. The good thing about it is I go out there and win two fights. Somebody else lose two fights, I'm, I can still get in, you know. So all I can control is what I can control to get out there and win fights, you know.